She look good today. Hey, go play your bases. Go. Your bases. Only five hours flying. He got roofing. He got your baby. No problem. Ready? Ready? I wish I could do it. I'm very excited. So happy I'm very happy that you are all have come. Everybody. Thank you, my three daughters. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing nowadays? <laughs> huh? What are you doing nowadays? Nowadays, uh, trying to get the business started again. The business best bars for Guru Day Seva. I'm a Before speaking, I would like to offer my unlimited obeisances unto my eternal spiritual master, Nikhtali Vishwapad Paramahansa Paradraja Vasatara, Shishimad Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada, and the same under, unto Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Paradraja Vasatara Shishimad Bhakti Vranta Shil Narayan Maharaj Ki Jai. Now to all the assembled devotees, uh, 
from the sannyasis, advanced, so many advanced devotees here, I'm feeling uh, unqualified to speak, but still I'm being asked to speak, so something. Once Srila Prabhupada told us that whoever comes to uh, a meeting of Hare Kata is considered to be a saintly person. So everyone here is very fortunate to come to this Sangha, to this Mahotsava. This is the 15th annual, 15th uh, year that Gurudev has come here. This is the 14th festival. Haribo! I was thinking some things. One, the first year in 1996 when Gurudev came, he stepped out of the car and we welcomed him. Told him he was very welcome at our house. And I said, Gurudev, I said, I am very fortunate to have you here. And he said, yes. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, boy, I think I'm in for something special this time. This time is different than others that have come, you know. So, anyway, everyone is uh, very welcome here. And uh, the, it's very rare to have such uh, satsanga, such a uh, high association. This is, uh, so Prabhupada used to tell us that if you're walking on the beach and find a valuable large uh, diamond, uh, this to find a pure devotee in this world is much more rare than this, extremely rare. Just to come to this human form, is extremely rare. So to utilize this human form, we must uh, listen to these instructions and, and uh, try to follow them. And accordingly, we will we'll be rewarded. I know also that uh, this, uh, just as his Atta Adyantikam, even a half a, half a second association with a pure devotee is uh, extremely valuable. Also, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati has said that if someone has the uh, association of a pure devotee, um, in all but the only unf most unfortunate rare case does someone not go back to Godhead eventually. So this is the, the situation here and uh, he's, he's been inspiring us for all these years and uh, we're, as I say, extremely fortunate. Vanchikov, to be a child, people sing this. Haribo! Om again, Timurand this year. Gananjana Shalakaya. Before speaking, I offer my prostrated and advice to the lotus seat of my Diksha Guru, Shri Eshi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and my loving, beloved Shiksha Guru, millions of times as well, to the lotus feet of Shri Bhaktivedanta Naranga Swami Maharaj. It's kind of ironic that in order to properly say the proper words to glorify Shri Gurudev, we have to pray completely at the lotus feet of Shri Guru. I am remembering two statements today, anticipating that I may have been asked to speak. One of them was by Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He said, when we have the occasion to hear the glories of the Lord from the lotus mouth of the pure Vaishnava, and they act on our heart, then we can begin to understand something of our utter worthlessness. And Srila Prabhupada himself also said in a prayer, in a statement he made to the Gaudiya Math in 1935, he said, Let me suffer the lot for which I am destined due to my past misdoings, but let me just have this power of recollection, that I am nothing but an insignificant servant of the Almighty Absolute Godhead, realized only by the unflinching mercy of my Divine Master. So I have a disease. I used to think it was terminal, but my disease is that I don't realize who I am. And not only that, I have acquired a sense 
of who I am, which is contrary to my real self-interest. And because of that, when by divine arrangement I'm in circumstances and around people who nurture my delusion, I'm very happy. <laughs> and when I'm around people and circumstances which um, by divine arrangement are meant to destroy my delusion, I become fearful or I become angry, which is the nature of any attachment. But at the same time, I become very hopeful. If it wasn't for Srila Prabhupada first coming into my life, probably today I'd be walking around the Port Authority in New York talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> and if it wasn't for Srila Gurudev coming into my life, I would probably be convinced that although everyone here is a spirit soul, I was some disembodied mind that had come out of the Mahatattva. <laughs> so Gurudev is so, so, so wonderfully coming into our lives, changing our lives by his preaching, melting our soul, our souls by his words, changing our lives by his love and affection. If um, Srila Prabhupada also said, when we hear the pastimes of the Lord, uh, we become jubilant and dance with joy. All glories to my divine master, because it is he who out of his unceasing flow of mercy has stirred up within us such a movement of our eternal existence. So any sense that we have of who we really are beyond our disease condition, as it, as it says in Gurudev Kripa Bindudiya, his mercy is all that we are made of. For 13 years he's been coming now, 14. giving his harikata, so many ways he's giving us prescriptions and diet and programs to cure us of our disease. But the most powerful thing he's giving us is his own harikata, which is steeped in the core of his heart in his own frame and imbued with so much compassion and love for we fallen souls. Srila Sarvabhama Bhattacharya said to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you have delivered the whole world, and for you that is nothing. But you are delivering Sarvabhoma, and that is amazing. So similarly, I can personally say to Srila Gurudev, you are delivering the whole world, and you are Padyadasya Srimati Radhika. You control Krishna by your love. You can do anything, but you are saving Brajendra Nandana Das, and that is amazing. Haribo! So on this very, very special occasion, that we have to hear Hari Kata from the lotus lips of our Srila Gurudev, who's traveling all over the world, putting up with uh, demoniac um, airport personalities. <laughs> Even Madhav Maharaj, who can take on the whole world, can't get near him because they take him away from Sripad Madhav Maharaj. And by the way, I have to say, having observed the service of Sripad Madhav Maharaj and Rajanath Prabhu's, I, I, it must be Gurudev is agreeing to stay with us because of the Vishwamba Guru Seva that they manifest on a daily basis. When, when Gurudev was early in Houston, they wouldn't leave his lotus feet for a second. Every what night. With him. So anyway, I want to... <laughs> I want to pray at Gurudev's lotus feet. I want to pray at Gurudev's lotus feet personally that somehow or other that this very powerful Harikata that's coming from the core of his heart and steeped with so much love and compassion by his mercy will somehow penetrate past my mad mind, my powerful senses and bring me to the realization that I am nothing but a tiny insignificant servant of the Lord, realized by His mercy, and the particular type of service that He's giving, which shouldn't even be uttered by this mouth, how rare it is, how fortunate we are. Shiva Gurudev Ki Jai! Jai!
Why you have come? Myself? What is? Why Gurudev has come? Gurudev has come for us. Why have I called Gurudev? Oh. I didn't know who else to call. Why Guru has come, why Gurudev has come. It's described in the Shastras that when the when the Jiva, when the soul, is suffering tremendously in this world and doesn't know what to do, where to go, then he calls out to the Lord for some some kind of direction, some kind of mercy. And Krishna being in everyone's heart as Paramatma. He sends his dear servant. He sent in our time Srilasi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who captured us through the topics of Krishna. He introduced us to Lord Chaitanya. And then very soon afterwards he left. And once again we were wondering what to do. And I know for myself. Uh, because of feeling great distress at that time, that uh, I came in contact um, through my feeling, the mercy of uh, my Gurudev, Sri Laisi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, in contact with a great soul by the name of Bhakti Rashak Shridhar Maharaj. And then Haribol. getting his association and his Harikata, shortly afterwards, he left our vision also. And then Actually, when I went to see Bhakti Rashak Shri Maharaj one time, the morning of Gaur Purnim, we were coming back to go to the Ganga to catch the boat back to uh, my poor Chandadori Mandir. And I saw all this commotion as I walked by the gates of Devananda Gaudiya Mat. And I peeked in and it was like a, a beehive. So much was going on there in preparation for Gaur Purnim that evening. And I could see Srila Narayan Maharaj there. And he was, he was chastising a brahmachari. <laughs> <laughs> for chanting his rounds because there was so much seva to do. <laughs> and then we went back later on with um, Dravida and another one of my god brothers. And for that evening, we went there for Gaur Purnim. And I made a beautiful recording of, of Gurudev singing, Goranga Bolite Habe. Haribo. Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai. And when I heard him sing, and I saw all the devotees around him, I was in ecstasy. <laughs> Haribo. And I felt, uh, I, I felt an immediate connection with him. And he also introduced me to Srila Bhaman Maharaj. When Dravida came, he had questions about the fifth canto. And Gurudev said, I can help you if you ask questions on Chaitanya Tamrita, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, but if you want fifth canto, you should go to Bhaman Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> he is a scholar. <laughs> so I got to meet Srila Bhaman Maharaj also. Yeah. And then so many years passed, trying to still find some happiness here without the association of a real Vaishnava. But by Krishna's mercy, Gurudev came back to the West, or he came to the West saying that he wanted to visit all the places that uh, our Gurudev had, had come and all the temples that he had established. And um, by, by his mercy, we're, we're, we're continuing our growth in spiritual life. I remember when you first came to Eugene, and a few of us. Uh, we were chanting Deshomati Nandan in front of the deities at the Eugene Temple. And afterwards, you turned around and you looked at me and you called me a thief. <laughs> yeah? Because we were singing melodies that I had recorded. <laughs> and I said, How can we be a thief when you're distributing freely? <laughs> so. <laughs> So it's, it's definitely 
the Lord's mercy that we can come in contact with a great soul who's dedicated his whole life to serving his Gurudev, to serving the mission of Mahaprabhu, and uh, giving us his kindness in the form of Harikata and his affection. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Where is Gopindapal? Gopabindapal Prabhu, please come forward. Um, I'll also reminisce, I think Nirguna said something about the first time the Gurudev ever came here. So there, those were rare moments, no doubt. Um, I think I remember, if I'm not mistaken, someone can correct me, if I'm not mistaken, the first talk that he ever gave here. Um, as a matter of fact, at that time, my God, look at this crowd. <laughs> at, that, at that time, you could fit us all in near Guna's living room. And it wasn't even, we didn't even fill it up. There was more space. Um, I remember some of the God brothers here, you'll know who you are. Um, somebody said, oh, I can't go here, but I'll do some service in the background. <laughs> And someone else said, well, I'll send a representative and see if it's bona fide, and then I'll come later. <laughs> but the first talk that Gurudev gave here, I think, if I'm not mistaken, was an exquisite discussion of the beauty of Brindavan Dham. And uh, I don't remember everything, but I, if my memory serves me correctly, he spoke about the details, and that's what really excited me. I had met Srila Gurudev numerous times in Vrindavan, in Mathura, but I had never heard him give a long monologue. So anyway, in this case, he was talking about the details of Braj, so much so that he was talking about the way the leaves were shimmering in the sunlight when the winds would blow in a certain way. And he was talking about the way the water would cascade off of Govardhan Hill and you would see it going over jeweled riverbeds and glimmering, whether it was day or night, by the way, sunlight or moonlight. And the seasons, which he talked about the seasons being interchangeable. The season, the season that occurred was the season that was necessary for Krishna's Leela. <laughs> no particular time sequence. And uh, anyway, it was one of, one of those 360 degree surround sound total environment experiences. I mean, by that time, we had listened for about half an hour, and by that time, the, the, the mood was, you know, like the, the, the teletransportation was complete. <laughs> I mean, you could have dropped a bundle of bricks on my head, and I wouldn't have missed a word. Um, as a matter, matter of fact, I started thinking at that time, Tumi Yahan Se Brindaban, which for those of you who don't know means Advaita Chandra said that to Mahaprabhu when they tried to hijack him to Brindaban, and he realized, I'm not in Brindaban, I'm in Shantipur. And he said, Tumi Yahan Se Brindaban, which means Everywhere you are is Vrindavan. So anyway, we were, by that time we were pretty much sold. This was, again, the first real lecture that Guru Dev ever gave here. As a matter of fact, I think I went home that very night and I memorized Krishna's words 
Um, Nam Tishtami Vaikunta Yogi Nam Hridaye Shuva uh, Tatra <coughs> Tatra Tishtami Narada Madhbaktam uh, yeah, Gayanti yeah. Hmm? Last words? I half memorized it. <laughs> Which, again, a tra just a very quick translation of that means that Krishna is saying, I'm not in the hearts of yogis and I'm not in, even in Vaikuntha, don't make any mistake, I'm wherever my devotee is chanting my glories. So anyway, that was, I think, pretty much, that's like a brief nutshell version of the first lecture Gurudev ever gave here. And by that, remember I mentioned that some devotees didn't show up and they were apprehensive, they didn't know exactly who they were going to meet. But by the next night, I mean, people were hanging out the windows, and it was wall-to-wall -wall bodies hanging out you know, all the way out the back door. And then, as the, the rest is history, 15, 14, 15, what's the, what's the verdict? 14. <laughs> Let's say 15 years of constant, I think maybe one year might have been missed. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, 15 years, and now I can see by just looking around, I know the projection... <laughs> What are we projecting? A thousand people? Fifteen hundred? This is by Gurudev's projection. <laughs> Realistically, this is a much bigger festival already than we've ever had. So on behalf of all of you, I want to welcome Gurudev and all of the rest of you. Haribo! First of all, I have a limited pronouncement to let us feet. My spiritual master, Nitya, the provision of Vishnupada, asked to her set to so <laughs> this is quite a festival it's very moving to hear um, old god brothers and uh, reminiscing and old family members <laughs> saying such beautiful um, remembrances of Gurudev here in New Raj. Um, and uh, I'm thinking this is uh, the most amazing festival I've ever seen or been a part of. Um, we Miss Gurudev last year and it was so devastating. Even trees were falling down. It, it, was, it was just, we couldn't believe it. Even the weather couldn't believe it and it stayed just like ready, everything stayed ready to bloom just before he arrived and he didn't come and so it was way into the summer and it was still freezing cold and finally in August it all, everything became warm. Um, so we're, this festival is particularly um, important and valuable to all of us. There's so many beautiful elements of this festival. We have um, um, beautiful Takaji, they're so kind to be present. We have um, beautiful sevaks, um, such beautiful kitchen seva, so many beautiful gardens, so many um, beautiful arrangements for devotees. Um, but the entire festival um, is um, completely um, only surrounding and a glorification of Srila Gurudev's Hari Kata. So we know that, she, that Krishna, he enters our hearts, the doorway of our ears, in the form of Hari Kata. And so this um, um, Hari Kata that Srila Gurudev has given us, and now we know for a fact that it's completely unlimited. 
he never ever ever runs out of Harikata. Um, <laughs> it's not possible and we can see with our own eyes that Harikata is completely unlimited and completely eternal and is saving us from um, again and again taking birth and dying again. So Pariksha Maharaj, he had seven days to live and um, it actually wasn't even in his astrological configuration to die of a snake bite. Um, and yet he took um, that just so that a Shuma Bhagavatam would be spoken. And yet when Takshaka came to bite him, he was already gone. Because he'd already um, accepted his sarup and entered into Krishna Dila. So, um, but in our astrological configuration, uh, we, there is pretty much chance of snake bite. That snake bite of Maya. Um, and us and becoming attached again to this material world. Um, but by hearing um, Shivagurdi's Harikata, if we even remember one syllable, one word of his Harikata at the time of death, then that will save us from birth and death again and again. So please Nine. forgive me. It's just been emotional time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Haribo! Gyanatamarandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshodam Militam Nyanatas Masri Gurudayana Pancha Kaputru Vishcha Kripasya Duve Vicha Patitanam Avalevya Vaishnavi First of all, <coughs> I offer my most humble and respectful obeisances to the lotus feet of Om Vishnu Pad Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, my Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru and to Nitali La Pravishno and Vishnu Paj Shishima Gorgavanu Goswami Maharaj, my Siksha Guru, today Sibhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, all our illustrious Rupanu Guru Varga, all the Vaishnava Vaishnavis headed by Sri Dandi Sanyasika. Gurudev asked why he's come, why we've called him, what is the purpose of his traveling all over the world, even at a very old age, 90 years old. He's continuing to get on planes, go through airports, come to different cities, hold festivals, do so much endeavor to give his association. And as he becomes older, he may speak a little less, but I see in this festival the energy is no less. That I've never seen such enthusiasm and ecstasy from the devotees in greeting Gurudev in Badger before. <laughs> Very, very wonderful. And that, that is Gurudev's mercy. He comes to give his mercy. In Briya Nardiya Purana, there's a shloka. Bhaktistu Bhagavad Bhakta Sangena Parijayate Satsanga Prakite Pumbi Sukhite Purvasanchite That Bhagavad Bhakti comes through the association of the devotees of the Lord, of Vishnu and Krishna. And that persons in previous lives, or in this life, who have engaged in some type of bhakti unmukhi sukriti, which means activities that we perform that lead us to bhakti, such as sadhu sangha, nam kirtan, bhagavat shravan, matura vas, and Sri murti shradaya sevaya. So all these limbs of bhakti, which are very powerful, these five limbs, will be performed at this festival in the association of a very high-class rasik tattvagya vaishnava or Sri Gurudev. And even though he may not be speaking and other people are speaking, because of his shakti, it is said that when an Uttam Bhagavat, a Maha Bhagavat is present, that one of his qualities is that simply by his association and seeing him, what happens? Others are inspired to chant Hare Krishna. They're inspired to speak Harikata. They're inspired to do devotion, to do kirtan, to do service. So by Gurudev coming here, giving us his association, he's inspiring us all in bhakti. He's helping us to elevate our positions in bhakti from wherever we are. He's giving us sukriti. Some of us may not understand everything if, if there are new persons here there may, may be so many terms sanskrit terms so much philosophy that may not be understood but 
simply by hearing the Harikata, by associating with the Bodhi and the Kirtan, so much Sukriti is developed. And gradually, gradually, all these, these wonderful verses from Srimad Bhagavatam that Gurudev will be explaining about Vrindavan, about the gopis, about the divine love of the Braj Basis. This is what he came to give. He came to give what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give. Anarpita charim charat karunaya vatirna kalo samarpaitum unata ujvala rasam sva bhakti sriyam. The same thing that Mahaprabhu came to give, our Goswamis came to give, and all of our Guru Varga, AC Bhakti Vedanta, and others came to give Sri Sri Maharaj. So we're very fortunate. Prahlad Maharaj was teaching his classmates, and he told them, if you hear with faith, then it's the same as if Narada Muni is speaking to you. Because he heard from Narada Muni, and they asked, so how do you know all these things, Prahlad? And he explained that he had gotten the association of Narada Muni for 60,000 years in the womb of his mother. And now he's explaining to them, if you hear with faith, he said, all these teachings can become realized. And they heard with faith. And because of their shraddha, huh, then they became devotees and they gave up their demoniac mentality. So he told them so many things about materialistic life. Prahlad Maharaj explained how this life is very short, that they shouldn't waste it. Even at a very young age, they should engage in devotional service. That household life, which is too attached to material enjoyment, is like a deep, dark well. And he gave them so many instructions on how to purify themselves. And finally he said, Guru Shushu Sha Bhakta Sarva Labdarpanecha. He said one should devote himself to Gurudev. And offer sarva labda parayana cha. Give everything to Gurudev. What we've acquired. What have we acquired? We're spirit souls. We've acquired a body, intelligence, mind, material things. So everything. Sarva labda parayana cha. Then. Sangena sarubhaktanam ishvara dhananena cha. In the association of sadhus, we should. Ishvara dhananena cha. We should worship ishvara. And shraya. With great faith, we should hear Harikata and Kirtane Guna Karma. We should also glorify, we should also chant and glorify the Lord. Then, Tat Param Buddha Dhyana Talikinksha Hanari. We should meditate on the lotus feet of the Lord, Sisirada Govinda, to Gornitai, and we should worship Takarji. So, all these limbs of bhakti will be performed here in the association of so many nice uh, Vaishnavs, and especially our Gurudev. I'm very fortunate to come again, and I hope everyone takes full advantage of this wonderful festival. Gurudev Ki! Oh, Nanda Gopal Prabhu, <laughs> Oh, Madhyana Tamarandasya, Yanangira Shalakaya, Chakshur Nitam Jena, Tasmai si gurve namaha, Pancha kalpa trivyascha, Kipa sindhu bhyevacha, Patitanam bhavane bhyo, Vaishnave bhyo namo namaha. Uh, for my respectful obeisances, unlimited times to the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Shri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. To my Shiksha Gurus, especially Shri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Shri Prabhupada, and all our Rupanuga Guru, Varga, to all of the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, and honored guests. So Srila Gurudev has asked why have we called him? Because we're totally in love with him. <laughs> we can't live without him. We always have to be with him, no matter where he is. But sometimes that's not so easy, but by his unlimited 
causeless mercy, somehow he keeps coming year after year after year. We are completely, um, I don't think there's any word to describe how much we appreciate this. I know I have been told that Srila Gurudev this year has said that he will speak in Hindi. <laughs> some, some of his classes will be in Hindi because he says there's no word to express some of the things that he wishes to say. So in the same way, I'm saying for us, there's no word in the English language which we can use to express our gratefulness and gratitude. Haribo! Haribo! Has, has come. So if I could speak in Hindi, then maybe I could say something. <laughs> Maybe I can learn Hindi, <laughs> and then I can say. <coughs> My son will do it for us. <laughs> I've heard he's learning Hindi, Bengali, so many things, serving Srila Gurudev and Mathura, Govardhan, Puri, everywhere with Sri Pad uh, Premananda Prabhu. So also, when Srila Gurudev first came, I'm sure many of you know there was some controversy. Everywhere that Srila Gurudev um, wanted to go, Ishkan, they said, oh, yeah, okay, you can come, but you can't speak. <laughs> okay, or in L.A., they deserted the temple, and they left one little plate of prasad. Oh. And finally, Srila Gurudev, he, went, he came here to New Braj, and when he met some devotees, he said, oh, I heard hearts crying. He heard hearts crying in New Braj for him to come. Also, when he first heard the name Badger, he kept saying in his English, he kept saying Badger, Badger. And then it became Braja, Braja. Braja. <laughs> so Gurudev made this place Braja. And then one time he said, this is very beautiful, he said, oh, your Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, he made hippies into happies. <laughs> and I have made Badger into Braja. <laughs> so, another reason I'm thinking, Srila Gurudev, he's asked why has he come. Every year, Srila Gurudev comes, he brings some special thing, always something new. Um, one year he came and he said, oh, I want to make pots with no holes for our bhakti. And that made me think of that wonderful pastime of Srimati Radharani when they wanted to know uh, who was the most chaste lady in Braj. Because Krishna was sick and they needed someone to carry water, but it had to come in a pot with holes. But we know if a pot has holes, water will come out. And everyone would try, but only Srimati Radharani. She could carry that pot, even with holes and nothing would come out. But Srila Gurudev wants us, he came that year and he said, I want pots with no holes. Aww. Then, one year he came and he said, he came and he spoke so nice about Mahat Sangha. He said, oh, I'm coming to tell you about Mahat Sangha. So everyone was so happy. Then one year he came and said, oh, loyal, for the loyal devotees, I want you to meet and make an uh, advisory board and come and discuss how we can continue my legacy. So every year Srila Gurudev is coming and something new, something special. Just like this year he's coming and he'll speak something very secret, very special. And he also said that the Hari Kata here in New Braj is so high. Nowhere else, anywhere in the Western world is the Hari Kata so high as in New Braj. He said maybe, maybe a little bit in Australia. And of course... Um, all, and Italy last year, but that new Braj first. And then of course also <laughs> in Vrindavan, Mathura. So, uh, Gopa Vrindapal Prabhu, he was telling something also very interesting from, from when Srila Gurudev first came. Many devotees had some 
you know, reluctance. They had been had their ears bent so much. Oh, don't let him come. Oh, but if he comes, don't let him speak. So many things they were trying to contaminate us. Huh? And if he speaks, don't hear him. <laughs> so we had one meeting. And many of us from here in New Broads, we sat and we talked. And many devotees had reluctance, and others were saying, oh, just, it's okay, it's okay. And he'll, he's such a nice Indian gentleman, and, he's, and he'll, he'll be okay. And Gopavrinda Paul, he said, don't worry, he'll come, he'll speak for a few days, and then he'll be gone, and everything will be just the same as it was. <laughs> Where's Gopa? <laughs> what, what did you do to us, Gopa? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> So, in this way, Gopa tricked all of you! Gopa's the big trickster. <laughs> so, on this special day, we welcome you, Srila Gurudev. Unlimitedly merciful, you've come again. Uh, we'll do everything we can to help make your stay here very wonderful. Soak up all the mercy and sweet Hari Kata. We'll have classes all the time, drama plays. Of course, Srila Gurudev's topmost Hari Kata, wonderful prasad. And also, in the day after tomorrow, Srila Gurudev has also brought something I was going to mention. Now it's come back to my mind. He also, as Guru brings everything, we're so indebted to him. Namashrishad Manoapi Sachi Putumatra Srupam. He's brought us everything. And he's brought us Sri Giriyaj Govardhan. Haribo! So every year we have Anakut Maha Mahotsava. And we have so many preparations. Gurudev always says, oh, not less than 365. But I think we had one year, how many? 800 something. So this year we can even have up to 1,000. So I'll let Srila Gurudev over the tonight, tomorrow, he can tell you about Govardhan and We'll have that festival coming on Saturday. So thank you very much. Very happy that you're all here, and I thank you so much. Sakala Vaishnava Goshai, page 28. I do like. I do like. Sakala Vaishnava Gosai Daya Kurumare Dante Trinadari Kahe Yadina Pamare Sakala Vaishnava Gosai Daya Stop. 